Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you are watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Joining me as always are my co-hosts from the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks podcast, Rebellious D and Double OT Terrific Trav. How you fellas doing today? We here and ready we are live. That's, That's right. right. Man, that man. Right. Ready to rock. I'm ready to rock too. We are reviewing episode seven of season two of Superman and Lois. And before we get into today's review, everybody that's watching, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And D, take it away. As always, podcast in the description, like, follow, subscribe to the channel. And when your brother tells you that you, you've been taking way too much uh, X kryptonite, click the like button. Uh-huh. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this Bing review. Boing. Bing boing. <laughs> hey, another great episode. You know, they another stay one. killing it. You know, we didn't mention it on last week's review, but um, last week's episode was directed by Amy Jo Johnson. And if you don't know who that is, she was the original Pink Ranger on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And uh, yeah, I mean, no wonder why. I mean, all the episodes are always good. You know what right. I'm saying? But I know I had read somewhere that uh, she wanted to make the episode feel like it was a movie. And I'll say, like, last week's episode, it felt like it was a movie with everything that was going on and whatnot. Mm. Crab, <laughs> yeah. you got that look on your face. <laughs> Why well, I had to think he back. Went, mm. <laughs> well, I had to think back to that episode. You know, it'd be a lot going no. on. My sentiments exactly, bro. Mm -hmm. It felt like a TV show is what it felt like. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. It felt like no damn movie. Well, look, I want to go ahead and read some of these comments that we have from uh, last week's episode. You know, mm -hmm. Kennedy and Kevin, they always joining us in the comment section. Kennedy Ooh. said, I don't think Superman and Lois is the best comic book show ever since I have seen mouth, every comic book show. Uh, personally, Superman <laughs> and Lois is definitely my number one favorite comic book show in these couple of years. Peacemaker was good, but I think the story for Superman and Lois is better. Way uh, better. I I, I mean, got more I know depth. we talked about this. I know we talked about this where it's just like it's two different networks and whatnot. Like Peacemaker was a really good show. And Superman and Lois is a really good show too. Like, in my personal opinion, I enjoy Peacemaker way more than Superman. Of course, because there's no rules in Peacemaker. Anything huh? goes. Yeah, I mean, right. that's true. That's you true. got dinglings. You got hey, 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 dude, hey. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, all all I know is since John Cena started acting after he left post WWE. Yeah, he's man. naked and everything he's ever been in, bro. Yeah, that's true. Or he's or he's either naked or he's in his underwear. Naked, naked. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. that's one of the things. Uh, then uh, you know, Kevin. Thing, thing. Kevin said so. This episode was directed by Amy Jo Johnson, and I think she did a great job. Also, I find it very ironic that Lana told Kyle to leave. I had a feeling she would do it, but it does make what she said to her daughter feel kind of hypocritical to me. It does make me wonder if the two are headed for divorce. Not to mention, this episode shows why superheroes should never trust the government. As for Lois and Lucy, their, their relationship is a mess. I do love their father trying to mend their relationship. However, I feel like until Ali is dealt with, that this relationship is in limbo. As That's for right. John, clear that XK is affecting him differently and making him far more aggressive and dangerous. Also, the Supergirl episode in question is called Bizarro. The show also does its own version of Live Wire, similar to the Superman mm -hmm. animated series, but tweaked for Supergirl. And thank Live you Wire. for the shout out once again. Yeah. yeah. Um, you talking Live about Motley Crew? No, Live That's Wire was Supergirl. Yeah, I, I remember right. seeing her up there. She was in the, ep uh, the episode I saw her was when The Flash made the cameo on the Ooh, episode. She was in it before that. She was in it pretty early. Yeah, pretty early. On the flash. Uh -huh. and then, <laughs> uh, then the last comment is from Kevin again. And Kevin says, I agree with Trav. The D plus Marvel shows are good, but I don't have it in the same tier as Superman and Lois. I'll be honest. WandaVision was a bit confusing and there were some moments I didn't enjoy. Loki was good. Falcon and Winter Soldier was a bit too grounded for me. Not a bad thing, though. Hawkeye was great. What if was good. So, yeah, so thanks, guys, for, you know, always commenting on our thanks, stuff. Thanks, guys. And, uh, you know, I mean, well, try. I mean, maybe if you would beat me to the punch with saying guys, then I wouldn't have to always say Thanks, it. guys. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> hey, those were some pretty good comments. Um, you know, I know we touched on all that sure. stuff on last week's episode and whatnot. Uh, but D, like, what were your thoughts on this week's episode? Uh, I love, hey, brother, once they put you in there with me, <laughs> that's right. a little escape. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was pretty sweet. Um, they had to basically enlist the help of, you know, your boy Bizarro at one point. And, uh, then you got the, uh, you got the Kent household, you mm-hmm. know, you got Kyle's household. Talk about it. Mm-hmm. So it was just, uh, another good episode. Um, very curious to see uh, what ends up going on with. I still feel like Jonathan. He's taking. It seems like he's go, going down the same path as Clark did, more yeah. than his little brother. Yeah, and that's what I like. He's learned all these experiences, and then you know the thing with him getting caught with the drugs. You know, he's not. Uh, yeah, it was like they don't know, and he he isn't gonna throw anybody under the bus. He took it on the chin. No, sure. He took yeah. it on the chin. Took it on the chin. And, he gonna well, sit you know what's crazy? And Clark walked in the room and gave uh, him the I, I, I ain't never seen him that angry like that, man. He was coming at him. Yeah, and I know that's something that we everybody. joked about. That's something we joked about on season one, where it's like whenever there was an argument going on, it's like Clark would just sit there and he's just like, I'll talk to him. You know what I'm saying? But this time, he, he, he had, had enough. Man, I had yeah, enough. He just, got a, he just got a uh, red sun present. That's right. Um, he red sun present. Red sun present. Uh-huh. But, RSP. Hey, I mean, <laughs> Did you guys get Thor and Loki vibes from uh, Superman and Tal, Tal Row up here on this episode? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yes. Yeah, anyway. I think it's silly to say you didn't. Anybody who's like, no. I'm so not. silly. Yeah, be, you're so, silly. It's silly. Because uh, well, What were your thoughts on the episode? I love, first of all, man, I love Superman just being a dad, bro. Like, he wearing the dad, dad. outfits. <laughs> you know, he, he got the dad comments, man. He's just a dad, bro. I'm, I'm, I, I F with it, bro. I love it. You I love, hey, again, man, this Fast and the Furious, bro. It's all about family. Uh-huh. This man took a bullet for Clark and he said, mm-hmm. hey, tell JoJo I'm sorry. Uh, I'm tell sorry. JoJo I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Bro, and I'm not going to lie, man, with Clark, when Clark laid in to uh, Jonathan, mm-hmm. and then uh, Jonathan broke down, bro, uh-huh. it had me emotional. I was, we've all been there where like you got yelled at and your parents left the room, uh-huh. and you started sobbing. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, my parents, they didn't. My mom, she didn't yell at me. She came in the room with the Gave belt. Gave you the wolf. <laughs> she came in the room with the belt, and you know I was gonna be crying after that. But uh, you know something that I wanted to piggyback off of what you had said, Trav. Uh, about like the whole family thing. When Clark came into that kitchen and you know, he hugged Lois and he was just like, hey, all I want is some Chinese food right now, hook me up. Hey, now, Trav, we don't know what type of Chinese food that Clark wanted, but if you had to guess, what type of uh, Chinese food do you think he wanted? He looked like a low main kind of guy. Yeah, okay. he does look like a low main kind of guy. Low main kind of guy. All right, oh, deep. so you agree, low main? Yeah, I don't, I mean, he might, right he out might of the go. Car. Right. Yeah, he might right. either that or he's going with the sweet and sour chicken, bro. That's right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's chicken. what I was gonna say. Sweet and sour, basic chicken. ass Superman. Yeah, yeah, he's a, uh, uh, he's hey, a keeping it man. simple. Hey, mm-hmm. nothing, nothing too spicy. Well, we don't even know. I mean, like, do you think that he likes spicy food? Nah, I mean, come on, bro. I think he keeps <laughs> playing. Yeah, this ain't Kai. We ain't talk about Kyle. We talk about Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. Hey, when well, you see, hey, we didn't see Kyle until the end of the episode. He came out of that store, and now that was emotional too. Let me ask you guys this. I'll ask you first, D. When, when, uh, who was it that told, uh, Sarah that she needed, uh, Lana? She told Sarah, like, is there anybody that you can reach out to and talk to? Mm-hmm. I thought that she was going to hit up Natalie because, you know, we haven't seen Natalie since she's been in the hospital. Oh, with yeah, her hospital right. day. You know, how we not bring it up? And Natalie was the one right. person that told her that she needed to talk with JoJo about what was mm-hmm. going on. So I thought that that was who it was nah, going to be. We saw who it was. Yeah, we saw who hey, it was the girl that she kissed. And Man, that was uh, awesome. JoJo. Uh-huh. I, was, yo, I thought JoJo was going to come. It was going to be one of those things where they were going to hug and mm-hmm. They was gonna kiss, and JoJo was gonna be things, just standing man. outside the window. It's one of those things. Uh huh. Is it? No, it's, it, what it is is it's, it's okay. When, as long as the character is off the screen, they ain't getting no airtime. There's just somebody that you talk about. When they actually like visualize it and show you something, mm-hmm. hey, we're gonna we're gonna see her again. Watch. Oh, for sure. Somebody that oh, I used yeah. to know. Now that she been, right. yeah. Now she been like, on the show. Like, 
And that's the thing too. Like mm-hmm. this girl, she lives far away, so she drove hours to get here. Well, I think it was two her. hours. Yeah, yeah she drove you know two what I'm saying. Hey, hey, yeah, and she's coming back, and JoJo's oh, yeah, no gonna question. see her, and uh, they gonna have that that fight where it's gonna be like, hey, you need to pick and choose. Is it gonna be me or JoJo? Well, you better hope she don't show back up with that ex, uh, the ex inhaler. That's what I'm saying. Those are gonna catch them hands. Hey, well, you saw Anderson had it. Hey, mm-hmm. hey. Your boy, he, hey, he went into the room. He was just like, "It's time to handle it myself." He was on some uh-huh. Thanos type shit, man, and uh, he, he was using the ex- weapons too. Oh, yeah, 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 he had the the weapons. Like, he was he was spraying them, like scarecrowed it up. That confused me at the end, bro. Like, why isn't he in prison? Because he ran. Because he escaped. Yeah, he, he- ran. How did he come on, bro? He, he got away from Clark. Well, you got to thank Trav. He's a high-ranking military official. If they wanted to disappear for a little bit, I'm sure they could. He has some because he has the powers, because, too. And you um, got to look at how loyal his people were, too. He was like, yeah, just hold such and such off until I get what uh, I need. Castle, and uh-huh. Yeah, and he was in there torturing them. And he was oh, lying man. the entire time. Like, he was yeah. just like... He was just like, yeah, Superman, I, I run this now, and I got uh, clearance to have you guys here. <laughs> it's a like, hard, man. Can you imagine if hard castle would know? And then I also like how at the end of the episode where um, where Sam was like, yeah, hey, I'm about to suit back up. And uh-huh. I'm going after Anderson. Because like Trav, like you said, when it comes to family, you don't mess with family. You don't and mess with family, no, bro. That's, family. that's something that I'll say that I love about this version of Sam Lane. Because I feel like in like all of the other media where we've seen him at, like he's just always been the hard ass, um, Mm -hmm. you know, like he's been an asshole and stuff like that. And it's cool to see him, you know, being a family member like him and Superman. They they were on the same team working together and whatnot. And even when um, John Henry came from the other world and told him about Superman, he was just like, hey, I'm still keeping this stuff locked up. So that way we won't be able to hurt you. You know, I got all the kryptonite in the world locked up. So I just love Sam Lane. I love what he's doing with JoJo. And, um, you know, I I do wonder what's going to happen when Clark and Lois find out about that because they don't know that he's training them. And right. I know that Superman or Clark. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, because Clark wants to train JoJo. And, uh, you know, I'm getting like a Goku and Piccolo type of training going on right now with the two of them. Because it's like, Sam is just like, you need to go hard. And Clark is just like, no, nah, you need to be peaceful. And yeah, it's going to be, a, like you said, Trav, it's going to be a problem once it happens. It's going to be uh, a problem. But yeah, D, right. I, I'll, yeah. pass the, I'll pass the mic to you. Is there anything else that you wanted to bring up from this um, episode? Yeah, I definitely do want to bring up the fact that I think, yeah, you do. I just think that this is the beginning of a rift between the brothers, you know, because yeah. the one time Jonathan needed him to back him up, he just kind of like, Rat it. He just snitched on. I mean, I don't, he just chicken out completely. You got then, to though. When we talk about when we talk about drugs and addiction, yeah, that was the best thing for him to do. Though was rat him out. I opinion. get it, but the thing is, he made a decision himself, and we saw it to not do it anymore. And but Joe, you don't believe. No, you don't yeah, believe. And that, you know that's I mean? but. I'm just saying, JoJo is kind of a pump, bro. <laughs> right. Yeah. Look, Jonathan told him he won't do it. He's the better son to me. He's the better son. This yeah. man took it a so, step further. He said he's the better son. Right. The good son. <laughs> and we you know, I was gonna say we ain't talking about the red son. <laughs> uh-huh. and D, to yeah. piggyback off of what you just said, mm. like, do you guys think that jo- Jonathan's girlfriend is gonna confess that the drug yes. are her? Nah. So that way it'll get Jonathan out of trouble. I mean, that, yeah. that's the, I think like, that's I'm not thinking, the end of that situation. I yeah, don't like, think so. I mean, bro, I'm hoping that this isn't like chucky where remember when we were doing our reviews for that and it's just like it's in the year 2021 like how are there no cameras around any of the buildings that chucky's in i feel like there's going to be something where it's just like they're going to watch some of the cameras at the school and like they're going to see that she had the drugs she was handing them out to people and like that's Mm -hmm. how jonathan's going to get out of the situation and then also too we still got to see who her dad is like it's mm-hmm. somebody that's in Central City that the Flash locked up. So like that's going to be an interesting thing, too, I mean, when we apart. when we find out who her dad is. Like, hey, we know who it ain't going to be. Uh, who? Bruno. 
<laughs> no, I thought you was gonna be for real. Say, I mean, nah. I, I, when we, when we talk about what. the Flash, there ain't no for real. All right. All I need to, I need to see John Henry Iron next episode. It's been yeah, a couple now. Let's man. see. I, I just want to make sure so, his man. vitals is good. You on hiatus? <laughs> it's like I don't need to get up. Hospital. It's like, like I, I would like for them to do an episode centered around Natalie, though, because it's like. How is she going to handle everything? Like, do you guys think that she's going to put on the suit? I mean, if, if it no. comes down to it, no, I think I'm she's going to get back to working on it, though. I think that might be something like kind of like by the time he recovers, he'll have a mm -hmm. new suit. I think I we could see, see something like that. I mean, I could yeah, see so. that or I could also see her in the suit as well, because, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just thinking about Ironheart and, you know, with Riri Williams and. I can't uh, wait for that. But you know, yeah, that's going. you know what I'm saying? Like she's a popular mm -hmm. character in uh the Marvel comics now. So I mean Bro, I you can know who I can like, see in the suit for real? Uh Jonathan? Nah, Shaq. This guy. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, I mean, mean oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta rewind it real quick. Hey, rewind we can't back. skip we can't skip over. When Bizarro told Tao that uh, your wife tried to kill me, he was oh, like, "Who's my yeah, wife? What's we her almost name?" Missed it. Hey, I Trav, think, who do you think, think his Allison? wife? Who do you think his wife was? I don't know, bro. Take a guess. Who do you think? It, who do you think it could have been? Somebody that wants to kill Bizarro Superman. I think it's probably Allie. That's my. Yeah, I think it's Allie too, to be honest. That'd yeah, be weird, bro. It'd be well, it's a bizarre world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, weird. It is weird. weird. I, I, mean, I just can't yeah. imagine her being married to somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Trav, I mean, like We're I feel like Tal. it may be her, but at the same time, <laughs> remember Bizarro Superman said that him and Tal on on his earth, like, right. they were like the best of friends. You know what I'm saying? Right, so okay. it's, it'd be. It's, I mean, it, for all we know, it could have been a uh, old girl that was with Tal on the, the normal earth. I can't remember. It's just it. When it, what, how would you feel if it's just the evil Lois? That like, would be fire. That like, would be kind of fire. Like that? that would All be right. kind of fire. Interesting. Yeah, I mean it would. I mean, and you know, now Bizarre Superman, he's dead. Uh, yeah. I do, I do want to see like what's going to happen with, you know, now that Allie has the other uh, thingy. The thing, right. the necklace, the, the yeah, necklace, the like hot, because I mean, like, well, right now there's two more episodes confirmed right now. Uh, I don't know if these are the last two. Maybe we'll get 15 episodes like we did in season one. But mm -hmm. uh, these two episodes are coming out March 22nd and then uh, March 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then they back uh, on break. Probably. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's called uh, Into Oblivion and 30 Days and 30 Nights. So. I thought you were about I, I to say was, to Oblivion and Beyond. Uh -huh. My buzz was coming. Uh-huh. John Henry going to come back. It's like, hey, he going to jump up in the sky again, and the suit's going to attach. Yep. But, That's right. Uh, Trav, final thoughts on the episode, or is there anything else that you wanted to bring up that we po we probably missed? Or uh, I'm not? sure we missed. I'm sure we missed something because we always do, but not 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 to your knowledge. So hey, uh hey, hey, if we did miss on you know Kennedy and Kevin, they're gonna say something. They're gonna let us know. They, they got us covered. They got us covered. But yeah, you already know, man. It's ten out of ten. It's ten out of ten until further yeah. further notice. Okay. <laughs> Heard that. Right. Same here. I'm gonna rock with the ten out of ten. Um, I thought it was pretty balanced. You got the the wholesome family stuff, you got that bit of action. I will say their action scenes, I, I like what they're doing with it, and um can't wait to see who our next uh our next i don't know feature villain is kind of mm -hmm. like i don't think it's just gonna be straight up alley could be mr anderson well i mean remember we it. talked about in the reviews like in the comics like alley is parasite so all I right think you talk gonna, about that like might take it out no i'm talking about like who are we gonna be fighting next week it ain't gonna be her like they gotta do something in the meantime is what i'm saying because she's gonna be trying to figure out what's going on with the pendant yeah. So is it just you think it's just gonna be AWOL Anderson? AWOL uh, Anderson. I'm right. I'm crazy. I, I mean, like <laughs> I, I mean, it was called Into Oblivion. So I'm guessing that it'll probably be an episode where we see what's going on in the other world. Like that's Bizarro. what I think. It, that's what I think is gonna happen. And um, you know, hopefully we'll find out who Tao's yeah. wife is in that other Tao. world. Um, and. I also want to know too if you know Bizarro, 
because we don't know if Lois, Jonathan, and JoJo are dead in the Bizarro world. You know what I'm saying? It's like we just saw that the house was messed up, but of course right. in the Bizarro world, like everything is messed up. So um, yeah, for me, I said what I said. I'm giving it a ten out of ten as well. Um, I can't wait to watch next week's episode. Hop in the comments. Let us know what you thought about this week's episode. Mm -hmm. Let us know what your rating was. Trav, let them know where they can find you at the social media land. Man, you know I'm on the Instagram at ZK Audio. I'm on the Twitter at T-R-A-V-I-O-S-E-K, where I'm also on the letterbox ranking and rating my daily movie watches. D, man, it's bizarre out there. Where are we going to find you? Yes, it is. And you can find me at rebellious double underscore D23 Instagram dot com. And Banks, look, man, they didn't gun down Bizarro. They, they did lock your boy Tao back up. Tao. But, but but they need some help finding goddamn Anderson right now. Where they can they find Anderson. another? Yeah. Hey, they down a hero. Where can they find another one at? Hey, you can find me at Hero Benjamin Banks at King Benji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again for watching our review. Make sure that you check out some more reviews that we have here on the channel, along with reaction videos, interviews, our podcast where we have brand new episodes. The link is down in the description. The video of that interview, it is always up here every Friday. Like I always say, keep that pinky up. Stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Peace. Thank you for watching a brand new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure that you hit that like button and you subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content on our channel. Make sure you check out our podcast where we release new episodes every Tuesday and the video of that episode is uploaded on Friday. And you can find new episodes of our podcast on all podcast platforms. Make sure you follow all the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks social media accounts at leveling up banks on facebook twitter and instagram also we have a patreon if you're feeling generous and would love to donate to us it's at leveling up banks and huge shout out to our patrons we really appreciate you and thank you for the support we'll see you next time on leveling up with benjamin banks